In this video, I'll show you two different ways to find the equation of a line that passes through a point. The first example tells you to write the equation of the line that has a slope of 3 and passes through the point 2, 1. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to identify what I have in my question. So I know that my slope is 3, so I'll show that here, m equals 3. And that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to substitute that into my equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus b, and I can substitute that y equals 3x plus b. So now that I have that, the question finishes that says it passes through the point 2, 1. So I have an x value and I have a y value. That's an ordered pair or a coordinate point, 2, 1. So I can literally take those x and y components and substitute those into my equation. Here you see the y value is 1 equals 3 times the x value, which is 2 plus b. 1 equals 3 times 2 is 6 plus b on the right-hand side. And to move the 6 from the right-hand side to the left-hand side, we do the reverse operation, which is subtract 6. 1 minus 6 equals b, and b has to be negative 5. I'm going to take that value, get my final equation to be y equals 3x minus 5. I'm going to verify that first, though. To make sure I have the final equation, I go y equals 3x minus 5. What I'm going to do is take the coordinate point that I'm given in the question, and I'm just going to substitute that back into my equation that I developed to see whether or not it's true. 1 equals 3 times 2 minus 5, and when you simplify all of that, you'll get 1 equals 6 minus 5, and 1 equals 1. So we know this to be true, and the equation is correct. The second question tells us to write the equation of a line that passes through the points negative 4, comma, negative 1, and 4, comma, 3. So the first thing I want to do is look at this visually on a graph. So I'll bring up a graph. You can do a quick sketch. I've already made it. And you see here that the graph starts at negative 4, comma, negative 1, and increases at a constant rate to 4, comma, 3. On the left-hand side is our first point. On the right-hand side is our second point. We can take those values now and use those to find our slope. Slope equals rise over run, or it equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And we can actually calculate our values using the ordered pairs that we're given. In the numerator, 3 minus negative 1. In the denominator, 4 minus negative 4. That simplifies to positive 4 all divided by 8 or we can simplify that to 1 half. So I'm going to write my slope here, m equals 1 half. And then what I need to do is I need to use one coordinate to figure out my y-intercept using the equation that I have here. I'm going to take any coordinate. I'm going to use 4, 3, for example, where my x is 4 and my y value is 3. So let me take those values. I say my now equation is 3 equals 1 half multiplied by 4 plus b. Okay, we can simplify that to be 3 equals 2 plus b. Therefore, b has to be 1. Now we take the m value, our slope value, and our y-intercept value, or b. We put that into our equation. y equals 1 half x plus 1. In order to make sure that we have the correct equation, we must verify or check it. So I'm going to check it below, and I'm going to use the coordinate point or ordered pair that I've been given in the question. 3 equals 1 half multiplied by 4 plus 1. 3 equals 2 plus 1. 3 equals 3, so we know this to be true. I hope this video helped. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below video ideas you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.